the first two episodes. Dude, we see Beatrice though. She's the she is best girl by far. That should be always best girl right after Asuna. 1A, 1B. 1A, 1B. 1A, 1A 1 Beatrice. <laughs> Dude, that, that works perfectly. 1 Asuna, 2 Beatrice. <laughs> 1A, 1B. 1 Asta, 1B at this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. It's your favorite host with the most. Sam the Bomb. And with me every week, of course, is Danny Hootnanny. Hey. And Nick, a.k.a. He Cometh in Peace. Strain your eyes and peer into the abyss. Okay. I said he cometh in peace, and that's what you say? <laughs> <laughs> that's peaceful. Just calm down, dude. Nick, so, like, before we started recording, you guys should have heard Nick. He was getting so mad. He was like, fucking goddamn bullshit, motherfucking bitch, whore, <laughs> slut, bitch. <laughs> it was so fucking Literally weird. saying all the curse I was words saying imaginable. That. I was just pretty much saying fuck in different ways. If you want to get Nick mad, just my give phone- him a- fucking discord didn't work just give him a piece of technology that doesn't work and tell him to make it work fuck. <laughs> <laughs> i will create world peace if you give me a broken cell phone <laughs> from my anger alone <laughs> this week dude we're gonna do summer first impressions here we go boom Yay. boom Yay. boom 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 and normally we do like two first impressions to cover more ground but you know what? There's not much ground to cover. You know what I'm saying? There's not much summer, ground to cover. No, summer kind of, kind of slim. It's funny because slimp, slimp. What? <laughs> What's a slim? Oh my god! Is that a slim simp or a slim pimp? <laughs> no, it's slimp. That's Danny's. No, it's that's Danny. <laughs> no, that's Danny's new rapper name, Slim Pimp. Oh god! No, it's just it's just slimp. Oh yeah, no, yeah, it's just slim. <laughs> I lost a few pounds. I'm feeling pretty slimp right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, everyone, take a shot. Record that in the Another Dannyism. Write that down in the Dannyisms, please. <laughs> I, cut, I cut back on the cinematography, so I'm feeling slimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm so glad that was recorded. <laughs> <laughs> What's your secret? I could back on a certain time. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, normally normally we do, you know, to cover more ground, but you know what? We're just gonna do one kind of slightly longer one. Talk about the stuff that we're excited about. And we did I mean we did watch a lot of stuff, but like you know, things were delayed. No we no we didn't, dude. There's nothing nothing came out this season. It's like the nineties again. Yeah, no, I'm saying like we did watch we did cover a lot of stuff still. It's just we're not going to talk the same about amount all of stuff. Them. It's like literally half <clears> as much because <laughs> <laughs> I watched eight things and that was all I could find. You know, and that could probably be due to like delays of stuff and everything. You know, no, that is due to the that's due yeah. to COVID. But um, also it's funny because like if you scroll to like the leftovers stuff, there's stuff from like. That should have ended last season, but because it came oh, halfway yeah, yeah, through yeah. last season, it's yeah, in the spring. It's yeah. in the leftover like, uh, section. Bunch of stuff. <laughs> also, in the ONA section, there's a lot of Chinese shows. A lot. Oh, I didn't watch like hardly mm. any of that. I always forget about ONAs. I know, and it's funny, weird because they put the Netflix stuff in the ONAs too. But like, oh my god, Regressive Retsuko is that uh, is that out yet though? Yes. No, no, it's no. It's coming no. out in August. August. It's coming out in end August. of August. Okay. But a lot like, of the stuff hasn't even like started yet, right? Nah, a lot oh, of wait, that. some of it's like September, late July. So yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we're good. Like there, like but a lot of like obviously like we don't watch a lot of these Chinese shows, but like we're racist know. like that, you know. I'm not oh. Nick is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not either. Mo Dao, Mo Dao, she. Dude, Wu seriously, Shan, every Wu every O N A is like Chinese. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of Chinese shows in here. I wonder if they're just not picked up on other streaming services because like nobody's actually watching them on Mal. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, there's like 500 people for each show, and that's once like nothing. Once in a blue moon, you'll see a Chinese show in like the regular section in the TV section, but even then, it's like nobody's really watching them. But I do want to watch some of them. There's a bunch of them that I, I heard are really good. But anyway. Well, when I just come- listen to uh, Chinese podcasts. 
That's that's my fill. There's your fill. No, your fill is massage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah massage. But only <laughs> if they have a British accent. <laughs> only if they have a British accent. Anyway, so when we come back, we'll give you our first impressions for the summer season. But first, let's take a quick break. Thank you so much. Check that out for me, okay? Links.animesummit.net. You can now find our Patreon link in there. So everything is right there for you. Discord. Yes, everything is updated on our link tree. Social media, Patreon. And if you are a patron, thank you so much. Um, We kind of were scrambling a little bit, and we did not grab a listener question. But that's okay, because I have a question. We're going to call it Host Question of the Week. Host Question? Oh, what? (laughs) Um, This one actually comes from Smokey. So, an- staff question. Anime Summit staff question. Staff question, not a host not a question, question, not a host question. But this one comes from Smokey. Uh, if you're the next tattoo you're gonna get has to be a weeb tattoo. What are you getting? Then we already do a tattoo one. I and no, I Dan, you can't talk have... about your real tattoos. Not allowed. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> we have did not do real tattoos. And no sports. No sports. Have nerdy, nerdy <laughs> tattoos. On top of the on, on top of the ones you already have, Danny. Yeah, not, don't talk about those. Your next tattoo that, that has to be a weeb tattoo. Oh, no sports. You got a, you got time? No sports. Like, no, just I have no, like, I have pick one. I have pick just say one. A whole board of. Hang on, let me go pick. to my Pinterest no, because one. that's where they just are. Just say one. Yeah, I have to go to my. All Pinterest right, Sam. What so about you? No, I I'll can, go next. I can look. Uh, dude, Aramanga Sensei. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I get it right on the left cheek. <laughs> that is inappropriate. Uh, straight up, dude. I don't know. I'd get like, I don't know. Me, I would get a Pokemon tattoo, or I get an Evangelion tattoo. So but try, I would not so mind. Try hard, dude. I would not mind getting a Pokemon tattoo though, or a Digimon tattoo. Actually, I would much rather get a Digimon tattoo over a Pokemon tattoo. Legit. Like I would get, freaking. Wizardmon or Gatomon or something. Or Fridgemon. I get Fridgemon. Oh, you know what? I would get uh Yusuke Yurameshi doing the spirit the spirit gun. But like pointed at my butthole, like on my lower back. <laughs> it would be like a a tramp stamp. So when you when you spirit poop Spirit Gun So So when you poop it's it coming out of his <laughs> finger. Yeah. <laughs> Set a shotgun and shit gun. Anyway, Danny, what do you got? <laughs> um, so my next one, and and I am actually going to do this eventually. Um, I want to get a Junji Ito tattoo. Oh God, get a spiral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get his but, yeah. but but I want it. I, I want it to like, like the style I want it is. It, I want it to be old school. Yeah. Like old school traditional, so I and I definitely have an artist who in mind who I want to do it. If so. if I were to get a Junji Ito tattoo, I would get one of Tomi where like her face is coming out of her bludgeoned head. Yeah, that's 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 what I want. Oh, okay, yeah, dude, she's so yeah. badass. I would see. I would get Tomi legit. It was either between. It's either between that or um, the girl uh in uzumaki when she has the spiral on her forehead and and when she takes off her hat the spiral has taken over half of her face yeah yeah um it's between that and and you got to get it right on your forehead too no no (laughs) there you go Ooh, get, get a spiral like on your uh on your fingerprint or like on your toe print like in like in those like cartoony animes, like those kids animes. Get a, where they get, a, have get, like that. get 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 a bunch of spirals all on all your toe beans. Your toe beans. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Smokey would get on his bean toes. He would get spiral tattoos. Um, Smokey's hardcore. He is, dude. There you go. Question of the week. That's our question of the week. Thanks, Smokey, for that. Thank question. you, Smokey. You bitch. Um. <laughs> waifu and his bando let's go summer impressions waifu is uzaki chan from uzaki chan wants to hang out because she's cute and she helped a lot of people donate blood last year so hey. wait what so they there was this cutout, this cardboard cutout of her dressed as a sexy kind of cute nurse you know 
and they put it outside of like the the you know where you donate blood and apparently the numbers were like almost doubled from the year before in that location oh nice nice and a bunch and some some fucking idiot complained on reddit like this is sexual sexualizing whatever blah this is dumb and a bunch Good. of people a bunch of people <laughs> commented on it and was like number 1 it's an anime character that's how she looks number 2 <laughs> the numbers for people who are donating right now because of that are like almost doubled number 3 shut up like you know what i mean it was like <laughs> it was really funny anyway yeah that's what i'm saying dude yeah. Let me just make a, a dark horse. A dark horse uh, waifu is uh, Asuna from Sorted Online. So Sam Sam shot up. that idea down. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> we had original. Asuna before. That's why. We should just, just always pick her when she, when she's eligible. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but like act like it's new, you know, and like yeah, describe dude. her as if no one's heard <laughs> of her. <laughs> yeah, dude, Asuna's crazy, man. Like dude, I love Asuna. Anime. So she has like red hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> blah blah blah. She's known as the light. The also, light. the only anime character that Nick knows. <laughs> yeah, By name, yeah. Name. <laughs> yeah. By name. <laughs> uh, and then Husbando is uh, Anos Volta. Oh, and Uzaki has huge cans. We didn't mention that. Huge. I said that already. I said that. She has giant cans. Huge cans. It's like her only redeeming feature. Damn, dude. She has huge cans instead of a huge forehead. You're just mad because exactly. she's better than Takagi-san. No, gross. She is. She looks. Like, she looks like a boy. Like her face looks like a boy. It's gross. Oh, Harris that's so it. terrible. She looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> Takagi-san looks like a fucking like. Dude, she Takagi-san looks like, is big brain time. All right. She looks like someone <laughs> threw her up into a ceiling. She's and like, her head went through it like, and then hung she, there for five years. She, she's like. She's like extended Benjamin her Franklin's head. niece. <laughs> she looks like Peyton Manning. Like fucking six head. Yeah, that Peyton Manning. <laughs> she's like a Peyton Manning and Ben Franklin. Got like gender swaps and had a baby. That's her. Ugly. Anyway, <laughs> and and the guy from uh, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. Um, Lucas Black is, is the actor's name. Uh, and Col- Colin Mockery. Colin Mockery. <laughs> oh my God! Husbando is uh, Anos Voldegod, or as Nick likes to call him, Anus. Anus. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I, I like how you just. I like how we were just quiet for a second, but then you just like laughed at your own shit, anyways. <laughs> Good old anus. He's extremely overpowered. Probably the most overpowered of, character I've fucking from, ever seen. From the Misfit of Demon Academy and Dumb Show, in my opinion, I don't know. It's great. That was dude. dumb. Ten out of ten. Anyway. Hell yeah, dude. So let's get into it. Uh, let's start with the, you know... Uh, God, the top mal reviews are a 1 and a 2. <laughs> 1 and a 2. And then the third one's a 10. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's start with um, Netflix's Japan Sinks 2020. Um, <sighs> this is Studio Science Saru, you know, uh, Masaki Yuasa's studio. Uh, it's 10 episodes. Um, shortly after the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, a major earthquake hits Japan. Amidst the chaos, siblings Ayumu and Go of the Muto household begin to escape the city with their family of four. The sinking Japanese archi- archi- archipelago. 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 However, relentlessly <laughs> pursue the family. So it's like a survival story. It's a disaster movie. Disaster. That's it. All right. Basically a disaster movie. Um, it's Grave of the Fireflies 2.0. It's not. No, it's not. It's it's like kind of. Dude, this shit know. is sad as fuck. Yeah, but it has sunlight. Like, Grave of the Fireflies. Episode one, sunlight. episode one, like right off the bat. <laughs> Dude, shit, every episode. Shit hits the fan. <laughs> every episode. Shit hits the fan. People just die. They're just dropping like flies. <laughs> it's fucking great. Oh, man. Yeah, it's uh, pretty intense. Pretty intense. It's um, like it's it's the prequel to Devil Man Cry Baby because as you can see, the main girl, she runs, she runs on the track club. So... Clearly, she's going to pass on her knowledge to uh, What's-Her-Face from Crybaby. And then, you know, we all know how that ended. So, there you go. Same universe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, same universe, obviously. Obviously. Um, this is based on a novel from the 70s. A novel. By Saikyo Komatsu. And, um, obviously, you know, the novel it takes place in the 70s. Uh, it was published in America in 76. And in Japan three years before that. 
Uh, it's an international they updated bestseller. updated it. For yeah. modern times, so everybody has like cell phones and shit. Yeah, this is called. That's why. Yeah, they call it Japan Sings Twenty Twenty. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I I really like the way it looks. Uh, I'm obviously, Science Star is really cool. Yuasa is really cool, and I love the design of everyone. It's really real, and but yeah, it's really like, I don't know. You need to. You need to be mentally. It has a low mal prepared. score. It's only a six point six on mal. The first it episode must have is, a bad ending or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The first episode is really cool. You know, it's really intense. And then they kind of just... Episode episode two, oh, man. It's all pretty intense. It's a disaster movie, but it, this is all out on Netflix, so it's all like done already. You can all watch the whole thing. We only, we only watched the first three, right? Yeah, I only watched mm-hmm. it. I, I, wasn't, uh, I, know I wasn't that into it. I, I don't know. Uh I, I kind of liked it. I liked uh, I liked the Hikokomori dude when the when the mom and the girl are having a fight at one point. He just turns up his music. <laughs> that was the funniest scene ever. Nick Nick is the type of person to watch depressing <laughs> shit and laugh at it. Like, no, because <laughs> these characters die in such stupid ways. <laughs> it's like Final Destination. Final Destination. Oh man, dude. And, 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 I think it was uh, episode three. Yeah, episode three. The uh, the judo girl. Oh yeah, uh, well, no. yeah. I'm not gonna say exactly what happens, but like, <sighs> there's just like <laughs> near the end of the episode, just just looking at one of them. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh man, it's really not funny at all. <laughs> it's fucked. Maybe because I was watching it. Dude, if you watch anime at like 1.5 speed, it's a lot funnier. <laughs> Just try it. Try it. No, I'm okay. Grave of the Fireflies, 1.5. I actually have feelings, so. Laughter's a feeling. Yeah, but I don't laugh at, <laughs> <laughs> at really fucked up, depressing shit. Meg, you need to. <laughs> I like it. It's just like the most mundane things. Just kill people. <laughs> oh man and like the um, end of episode 3 I'm pretty sure the boy is okay spoilers um, he, gets, he gets shot right in the fanny pack he's fine be quiet <laughs> <laughs> just shut up can we move on this show is, is Japan is sinking and they're looking at their phones and people are saying it's fake news <laughs> what the fuck it's really fucked up that actually, actually, yeah. actually happened on there I'm like oh okay <laughs> Well, um, that would that would probably happen in real life too. People are stupid. Yep. <laughs> oh, God, that makes it more depressing. Anyway, wait. Where's my? Oh, where's my notes? There's my notes. The track girl. So wait a second. She cut her leg at one point, and then like they never go back to that. <sighs> at least in the first three episodes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't remember if they addressed that. Maybe she just bandaged it up. I don't know. But anyway, I'm probably not gonna. Also. Her brother got first aid, and she didn't get first aid. How do you explain that? That's sexist. Discrepancies. Continuity error. Continuity <laughs> she error. Only, she only got 70% of the first aid that he got. <laughs> it was funny because Sen was talking about it in Discord, and they were like, oh, more like Japan stinks. <laughs> yeah. I think we've all thought of that joke. <laughs> I didn't think of it because I'm slow, and I was like, oh, that's hilarious. It especially anyway. stinks when they uh, when a character walks into some poison gas. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody died. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I won't say what character it is, but <laughs> it's, there's just a shot of their body just laying face down in the dirt. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck? Nick, you got problems. <laughs> That's such a bullshit way to die, too. I'd be so pissed if I died like that, dude. Nick, have you it's actually so seen find the movie Final Destination? No, but I've seen like YouTube. Clips you would probably of it, laugh at that the whole sounds movie. With funny sounds. You'd probably laugh at that whole movie, especially yeah, like it, the, it's pretty funny. There's like one part where the teacher lady, she like spills some like coffee on her computer, and like one of the one of the capacitors, you know, those have like sharp ends on the ends of those. Because you're supposed to solder them to the board, one of them shoots out and shoots in her neck, and it's nice. like what? Nice. It's like what? How did that? Like Dude, nothing. Nothing is gonna beat the the uh, another. You guys have seen another. 
Yeah, yeah. Horror anime when when the girl's walking down the stairs and gets impaled by the umbrella. <laughs> like it's standing perfectly straight up, like or not straight up, but like at a forty five degree angle. Like that's that's the way to go, right there. That's the way to go. Not poison gas. That's a coward's death. <laughs> Just the imp- wow. Impaled by an umbrella through the eye socket. Yeah. Yeah, like anyway. oh, like oh, it was like episode one. People are falling into the trees from a helicopter, and their bodies are just falling down. And everyone's like, "Wow!" And then episode two, somebody strikes a power line with a shovel. And they're like, "Well, <laughs> it wasn't a power line. It was oh, whatever uh, it was. Fucking, it was explosive. It was a mine. It was an explosive. Was it actually mine a mine? Like I thought it was like before. a. I thought it was like power or something. No, this is Japan, not it Korea. Was explosives. All right, whatever. Moving on. Struck something. It's probably propane. <laughs> propane accessories. Moving. Moving on, uh, second season of uh, ReZero, dude. Studio oh, White yeah. Fox, Studio Bitch Fox. Where are my notes? You guys have fun talking about this. Did you yeah, start I mean, it, Sam? Uh, I watched the first episode. I I kind of did it last minute because I forgot about it. I really, I legit forgot about it. God, it's been four years. They pulled an Attack on Titan. At least yeah. they had like ReZero High School Petite and stuff in the meantime. Yeah, I, honestly, <laughs> the fact that they did pull an attack on Titan was probably what made me forget about it. Because, like, I was watching shows, and then yesterday, yesterday night, before I was going to bed, I was like, oh, I'm going to go on Mal. I should have went to fucking Mal before I started watching anything to make sure I didn't forget anything. And there it was right at the top, and I was like, whoops. So then um, I yeah, watched all, it. Yeah, all you got to know is, super, all, oh, all you gotta know is uh, Subaru has, like, this Defy Death a special ability where he can... Whenever return he dies, he goes back in time. Yeah, return by Whoa. death. Whoa. And then he goes <laughs> back in time, and he's always panicked, and he's like basically just simping for Amelia the whole time. <clears throat> but Rem simps for Subaru, so you got a simp circle right there. Simp circle. Simp triangle, if you will. Yeah. And uh, there's like three pretty great episodes in the first season, and then the rest of them are pretty, you know, they're okay. But then, uh, yeah, this season they just they start they they continue right on, you know. They just they go straight into it from the weird ending at the end. From of the like first. the whale, they're fighting some flying whale in the at white the end whale of the first season. Yeah, the whiff from the witch's cult in the white whale. Yeah, it's been forever since I saw that. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, Re Zero, Karahajimeru Isekai Sakaitsu. Um, I'm gonna continue watching it just because, or maybe I'll wait. I think I'm gonna wait till it's done. So I can, because I know it's going to do some shit where it's like some shit happens at the end and you're like, fuck, I'm going to wait. <laughs> some shit happens and you're like, fuck. <laughs> because ReZero is the type of story or the way they do it is the type of show where you got to, you got to, you got to click the next thing, even though it may suck. You got to click the next episode and be like, oh shit, I got to see this. So I might Ooh, wait. There's a ReZero break time, two minute special. Two minute special. Got to watch that. I got to watch all the shorts for this. You got to watch all the ReZero. Consume all the ReZero. I mean, basically, in this second season, they're fighting. So, like, in the first season, Beetlejuice, he's, like, one of these, like, the witch cult. Beetlegeist or and Beetlejuice. He's, he's basically, like, it's basically like Full Metal Alchemist where, they're, where they represent the seven deadly sins, kind of. Like, there's a bunch of strong witches like that. And then in this second season, they meet uh, a few more of them. They meet, like, three more in the first few episodes. Yeah. And uh, Rem is, like, she has, like, the Sleeping Beauty curse on her. So, like, Subaru's trying to heal that. And uh, he's simping for Amelia a little more. Oh, and then the other little tiny lolly maid simps for Subaru. She gives him a little little handkerchief. (laughs) Actually, I only finished the first two episodes. Dude, we see Beatrice, though. She's She's best girl by far. That should be always best girl right after Asuna. 1A, 1B. 1A, 1B. One, one, eight, eight, one, one Beatrice, Beatrice. <laughs> dude, that that works perfectly. One Asana, two <laughs> Beatrice. <laughs> one A, one B. One Asana, one Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> one A, one B. One A, one B. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, I yeah, gotta re-zero. rewatch that first season. There's a bunch of shit. They got royal selection. They got some fucking crazy witch cult. They got a bunch of shit. Beatrice is mm. bullying Subaru. Amelia is not really Amelia, but she is Amelia. Probably. I don't know. It's crazy, like a, dude. The first Amelia that he saw was like the one bitch or whatever. Anyway. Oh, yeah. There was, she was like a white witch or something? Yeah. That 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 first like Amelia, that, the first time you see her, apparently that wasn't her or something. I don't remember. But yeah. I should rewatch the show. Just like, the, yeah, the show just like pulls a bunch of shit out of its ass all the time. It's crazy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, it has like uh, it has a hundred thousand more uh, followers on Mal than the next closest show. This what's season. the what's the next show? Uh, Origaru Snafu comedy season, whatever. Season three. <laughs> yeah, I'm not caught up on this one. Uh, my teen romantic comedy Snafu climax. Oh, I'm not watching Wait, this shit. That, yeah, this this one I've heard is like pretty good. People seem to like it. You got like the sarcastic main character guy and then a bunch of harem girls uh i'll have to watch it at some point <laughs> that's all i can say mm-hmm. characters in it are super cute and i love their i love their uh hachiman their, i like their school outfit colors like it's like black with like a black plaid and white wow that's skirt. very descriptive it's cute better than the plaid <clears throat> pants that better one kids had the fucking best. There was this one show with plaid pants. I don't remember what it was. I'm sticking to my. I'm sticking to my opinion on this. The best school uniform in an anime ever is in Bible Black. Those uniforms are fucking great. Those are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. They're really no, good. there's there's got to be some better ones. I, I'd probably. We have to go back. That and Ka- Kakegurui, the Kakegurui Academy. Yeah, because like the, they're just sluts. <laughs> they're just like red and like. <laughs> it's really cool. Anyway, what about Kill a Kill, dude? Come on. Oh yeah, Hanoji. does Senketsu count as a uniform? <laughs> Hanoji Academy, dude. Hanoji, you're all pigs in sheep's clothing, or you're all pigs in human clothing. Know, a good episode human, topic. Human clothing for us to do. Oh yeah, best school uniforms. Smackdown school. Oh, uniforms. write that down. Smackdown. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> school uniform Smackdown. No uh, anthropomorphic ones allowed. Senketsu doesn't count. <laughs> all right, what's well, okay. It's just clothing. All right, everyone, take a shot. Planning on the podcast. <laughs> write down. Um, we don't need to TM. write it down. It's it's recorded. <laughs> it's recorded. TM TM. You owe me a dollar. Uh, the God of High School Studio Mappa. Let's go, dude. Oh Ta- yeah. Yes. So this is a this Korean show webtoon, is way right? Webcomic. Yeah, based on the based on the the Korean manhwa from Webtoon, The God of High School, and Crunchyroll original. We talked talked about this with uh, Miles on the on the episode he guested on, talking about Crunchyroll originals. And uh, we were hyped for this one. We were really hyped. Um, this show is way better than Tower of God. Change it's a mind. lot funnier than Tower of God. That's for sure. This, so uh, like. The first episode was pretty great, honestly. I watched the first three. Yes. Um, and the fucking, it, it's a very, very basic premise, okay? It's just a, it's just a tournament with high school, with high school kids who are, it's a any style tournament, fighting tournament. You can use it's any like web- Baki, but with superpowers. That's it. <laughs> yeah, the, there, there's a little superhuman like shit going on. Like there's like god shit going on, but like it's like know, origami it's, a little bit. Yeah, and it's just a tournament. and It's martial arts. But like, when's the last time we got a cool martial arts anime with this awesome choreography in it? Yeah, you know they what I mean? actually have like fight choreography at least a little bit. It's not like it's a little fast. Maybe I was watching it at one point two five speed, but still, it's a little fast. But like, it's good. It it makes sense. Their movement, their movements have weight to them. They're not floaty. Yep, yep. They're, and so basically, the 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 main character uh, Jin Mori, he is on his way uh, to to you know participate in the tournament, and he runs into uh, Yumi Ra and Han Dai Wei, and they kind of become friends and kind of go into this tournament together. And are rooting for each other, and then you realize that there's like some shady political shit happening, and the tournaments bunch run by of this suits. That's bunch what of I call them. S- bunch of suits. Um, the the tournaments run by this guy named uh, Park Mujin or Mujin Park, and uh, he has this power called the 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 Chiak or Chioako or something, and it's like this fucking godly shit. Anyway, it's, I believe it's called the uh, Chihaifuru. That's his power. The Chihana Ferner. <laughs> um, dude, wouldn't that be cool if you had the Chihana Ferner? Anyway. <laughs> the Chihana Ferner. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a mattress store. <laughs> that's that's our mattress store that we're opening, dude. Duh. TM, write that down. Planning on the You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Chihana Ferner. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Sam, you need to watch. I'm gonna link you the uh, interdimensional cable episode of Rick and Morty. You're gonna lose your shit when you watch that. <laughs> Just watch right. that episode. It's fucking great. All right, link it to me. God damn it, fucking Nick. Anyway, <laughs> answer my eyes, Johnson. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, but yeah, God of High School. It's just a, it's just, it's just dumb fun action, and and the it's characters are really cool. <laughs> they and the jump right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, you know, who knows what what's. There's no like, training. There's no. They're already powerful. <laughs> they're already fucking badass, and they're just fighting bitches. And e- each of the three kind of the the friends, Jin, Mori, Han, and you, they kind of have their own personal reasons for entering the tournament. And, you know, they're yeah. kind of noble reasons, and they're really cool. The girl just, wants to be, like, a successor, worthy successor, and then the uh, the convenience store guy, what does he want? Like, money? Han Dai Wei. He, he wants money to pay for his friend who has, like, cancer or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, then Jin Mori just likes to fight, pretty much. <laughs> he's he's basically got the attitude of Goku. Yeah. Well, and he's, yeah. like, the, he's like, the heir... Or he's like the son or the uh, ancestor. He's of, a grandson. He's, a he's grandson. basically grandson. he's basically the avatar. I mean, <laughs> he's the avatar. But he is but the, like, yeah he's yeah. he's the grandson of this really powerful taekwondo fighter. But like it's cool because you see other styles there's like wrestling. Um, Yumi Ra uses you know kenpo or kendo, and then Han Dai Wei uses like a a kenpo karate style, and then there's a wrestler chick, which is awesome. There's one guy who just uses a metal bat, and the reason why he like made it <clears> to the prelims <throat> is because he had a theory. He has he has he's a super th- strategic. He's doing a thesis. He's just super smart and has theses on everyone's fighting styles. So whenever he identifies his enemy's fighting style, he just goes, "Okay, well then I can just beat you by doing this." And that's why well, he's always yeah, like, he's also the book. pretty strong. But yeah. he's yeah he's decently strong too. He's not just like some guy with a bat, but like. It was pretty cool. Like there was different and there's this main. There's like the first couple episodes. There's like the main uh, bad guy with like the dreadlocks and the striped shirt. He always has his arms crossed, and he's like this like huge asshole. He was a prison (laughs) convict that they let into the yeah the the preliminary qualifier halfway through. The suits like gave him power to see how far he'd get, basically. Yeah, and then uh, Jin Mori just like fucks him up. Fucks him up. So. And then there was a guy who used, like, Tai Chi, which was badass. That was fucking cool. Anyway. But, yeah, there's not really they, – they, they, they jump right in. And, and I, I didn't understand how – so Jin Mori, he's like, he's like I want to I want to get a rematch against the blonde guy. It's like, wait, what what did I miss? Did he fight him already? <laughs> like, was there a prequel that I fucking missed? No, 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 yeah. It was just when the commissioners went to give out invitations to people, Jin fought him. And then he lost. I don't remember that at all. They don't. They don't show they it. Showed, they don't. They don't show it. But they show like, like a, okay. an image of the blonde guy standing up and just kind of like handing him the invitation. The invitation while he yeah. was on the ground. So it's too fast. They they should have like an episode on that. <laughs> it kind of just. Well, they'll probably show a flashback, I think. But it, yeah, it's just kind of implied. Or backflash. Or backflash. backflash. It's just kind of implied that that they you know he fought him to whatever. But anyway. Uh, God of High School is just really dumb fun. Dumb martial arts. If you're into kung fu movies, you'll be into this. I mean, if you're into martial it's arts really action funny. movies. Like the first ep- just watch the first episode. It's, it's a really good first episode because like, yeah. the bike chase, they're chasing this thief on a bike because they're, they're all trying to make it to the, to the arena. And like the way they choreographed that, was it was like really funny. Like The girl was like standing on his back as they're chasing him and then at some at one point like they she crashes into a street sign her face like molds into it and yeah 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 it's like <laughs> it's super kind of looney tuny in a way yeah it's like really good action it, it, they they connect all of it really well and that's how that's how Jin Han and you meet also and they kind of just like become friends or whatever which is kind of cool like they're kind of like oh what's up homie it's like yeah dude what up you know but um anyway you should just watch it it's really cool God of High School. Crunchyroll original. You can watch it on Crunchyroll. Um, Sword Fart Online Alichization War of <laughs> Underpants. How many semicolons and, and dashes do we have in this name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Re Deluxe Edition 5. Second season. Um, yeah, Sword Art Online Alichization War of the Underworld. Danny doesn't like Sword Danny's Art. Sipping on not an awesome fan. <laughs> Danny, what flavor of water do you want? At the store, no. It's what flavor? It's what flavor? Kind. Hater aid. You said why do you oh, say yeah, water? water. <laughs> I do a flavored water. <laughs> what flavor of water? <laughs> Aquafina. <laughs> Lacroix. 
Lacroix. <laughs> Lacroix. Lacrux. Fiji water. Sword Fiji. Art Online. Fiji water. Anyway, Sword Art Online flavored water is really good. Already yeah, right dude. off the bat, this picks up right where the you know the first War of the Underworld part leaves And this off. is way better than that first chunk of War of the Underworld because the first chunk of War of the Underworld was just a fucking war for like 12 episodes. And it was kind of like Kirito was asleep most of the time and it was, it was okay. It was like 5 out of 10. This one, solid 6 out of 10. I mean, it's, okay? just, getting, it's just getting better as it goes pretty much. Yeah, you got more of the you got more of the the emotion and fucking amazing Sakuga in the old man fight when he's fighting against the other bad guy. Barkuli, what's his yeah. face? Barkuli, you know who Vecta. I'm talking about. Yeah, Barkuli is fighting Vecta. Yeah, um, the fight scene was great, dude. It looked like fight scene was amazing. It was euphotable level. A one um, brought their shit. To really, this kind, one here. really, really kind of annoyed at that they had to throw in another super rapey. Seen oh, yeah. in the first episode, dude. Never change Sword Art. Never change. So I was actually dumb. beginning to wonder if it was Sword Art Online because it had been a little while since I'd seen Tentacles. So <laughs> yeah, it's <was> basically <laughs> like and Lisa so, just she gets the business, dude. Lifa Lifa logs in, and that one blood bitch from the first part of World of the World revives by sucking blood off the the ground, and the pig like the the pig guy, the Lilipillin or whatever his name is. He was gonna. Believe. He was gonna take. Yeah, he was gonna take Leafa to 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 the Dark God or whatever, and take her as prisoner because she was like, "Oh, if you're gonna take me to right tomb, yeah, just take me." And then she shows up, and then she starts putting her like vampire leech tentacle suckers on her, and it's super rapey. Not that only was kind on of a weird scene. Why would she just give up? Couldn't she fight the pig? Because she because the pig was gonna take her right to the guy, and she was just trying to go right to him. Oh yeah. Okay. She was okay. That was her plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So 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 then. Not okay. Not only on top of that, but then the fucking dumb bloody witch bitch, as she's fucking raping Leafa. Okay, she's no, not dude. Exactly she doing had that. the craziest Funyun finger fingers ever. Funyun fingers, <laughs> or no, not Funyun bugles, bugles, bugle fingers. You know how but you put them on she, your so you look like a witch. Yeah, you look like a witch, dude. But then on top of that, she's got the fucking nasty gall to tell the pig to like get naked. She's like, oh, strip and crawl on the ground. Then you're like a pig. And it's like, okay, so not only are you being rapey and a pervert to Leafa, you're being rapey and a pervert to this you're poor pig man. You're using mean words. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, so disgusting. It's just dumb. It was dumb. It was a dumb scene. Don't worry. Anyway, she got her comeuppance. She did. She got She got cut the fuck up. The and pig did the system call and his eyeball bleeded and he's just like. Rah! Yeah, he broke, he, broke, then, he broke his uh, coating or like, whatever it is. Hit her, sliced like, her leg or some Like shit. the other demon people did, which was awesome. That was awesome when that happened. And then Leafa's just like, <laughs> and she so basically, her down. basically, what this show is telling you is gouge out your right eye because we're in the Matrix. Just kidding, don't do that. Please don't fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to watch anime like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. But um, yeah, no, it was fucking cool. It was really fucking cool. Sakugo is really cool. Sort of, it's just getting better. War of the Underworld's getting better. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, dude. And the music is great too. I mean, they're using kind of the same tracks, but. The sound design, the sound right. design is amazing as always. Like you know, when their fucking swords clanging and clinking. Yuki Kajra, right? Who is Yuki Kajra? Pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure. The sound design. Where is is the staff? Oh, there it is. I okay. have no Mal idea. is being stupid right now, but anyway, Mal's down. Mal's down. <laughs> Mal's down. Anyway, I'm, yeah, it's, it's, it's Yuki Kajra. It's got to be right. Anyway, really cool. Uh, great music. Great uh, stuff happening. Oh, uh, Kirito, the, the programmer figures out the STL fluctuate connection thing. They're like, oh, the, but you, but you, the you who exists, in, they go full fucking Evangelion, like episode 26. <laughs> They're like, the you who exists in others is also the me who exists in you. <laughs> we can revive because them. Because they, they figure out that when Asta and, or no, when, when, Sinon, when Sinon and Leafa logged in from Rapongi. That, or no, when Asna then when Asna logged in, and then when Sinon logged spoilers. in after. This is like episode two, but yeah, spoilers. Um, well, it's a was, sequel to a sequel to a sequel. It's a sequel to a sequel to a sequel. He has Fuck his it, dude. His mind um, showed activity when that happened, so they were like, "We can repair him." I think if he's showing activity, we can rebuild him. We can rebuild him. But I don't want to spend a lot of money. <laughs> He's gonna. But have they a were like, "Well, we never, foot. we never copied Kirito's fluctlight over whenever he tested with us." They, they, uh, in other words, literally, 
the power of friendship is going to save Kirito. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Sora Literally. High School. It's getting better. It's, it, it, Dude, and the pugilist and the sharp sword girl were about to bone in, in like, episode three. That's hot. And uh, that's pretty sweet, dude. He's got, I don't know, he's got a fist and she has a sword, except her sword disintegrated. But anyway, can cool you imagine? Happening. Uh, can you yeah. imagine Nick reviewing, like, porno? Like, oh, he, like, summarizes porno. He's like, yeah, and then they went into the room and started boning. And if I'd have been there, I would have been, like, nice. <laughs> The male unleashes his impressive member. <laughs> the female shows her admiration. For, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Sora Sword Online's Online, getting better. Best girl is still Asuna from all time. Nah, dude. I'm changing um, on the show sheet. Awesome. Fire Force 2, Season 2, David Production. Uh, Fire Force 2. Who's watching? Danny's watching Fire Force. Gross. Yep, Not me. I am. I managed to to rewatch the first season before I started God, the second. Danny's fucking crazy, dude. How'd you do that? <laughs> um, w- management and watched my anime Danny's, on time. Danny secretly watches at two times speed. She doesn't want to admit it. She does. I do not. First of all, join she the does. dark side, Danny. Join nope, the I'm dark dead. side of the force. Embrace your hatred. <laughs> Uh, dude, Fire Force. I mean, it's season two. It's getting pretty. It's br- yeah. I'm. I have high hopes for the second season. Now Who's we're the best to- character in f- uh, in four Binamar- seconds or less? Tell me why to watch it. Because fire kick you in the face. <laughs> cool animation. No, Danny. Um. That's already two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just trust. Trust my instincts and just watch it. <laughs> okay. The, your your reasoning should be that Danny doesn't really white like shown in that much, and she's watching this one. There you go. Yeah, this one is like a mystery. Box I'll take that answer. Show right? Is this trigger? I mean, it's it's no, it's uh. David oh, this production. is David. David production. God, this is my other rant. They're wasting their time on this instead of JoJo. All right. What do you mean? <laughs> JoJo sucks, dude. Dude, they should put all of their time and money into JoJo. Fuck these other shows. They don't need them. Uh, Bittermaru Shinman is best guy from Fire Force, by the way. Anyway. Oh, is that the eye patch guy? Bittermaru. No. No, it's the guy who uses like the... the f- second generation and third generation. Yeah, he's second Fire and... Foot? No, he's second and third, and he like fucking... Uses these old Japanese like banner poles with like ba- like you know the banners on them to like shoot them at people like missiles. It's badass. Anyway, and then oh, nice. he can ignite them on fire. Plus, he's hot, and he bought his best girl. He bought his best girl, dude. Uh, on volume nineteen of the cover of Fire Force, the char- the one big huge character guy is blocking the logo a little bit, and it says Fur Four, and I thought that was really funny. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, that's best boy right there. Look, I'm looking at him right now. He has a mustache. Fur four. <laughs> four. four. He's got he's got um, a womb broom going. The opening was really cool too. It was done by Amer. Amer has just great music all the time. Oh yeah, right? Amer is pretty good. What else well, have they done? They've done a bunch of crap. So she did Brave Shine opening to UBW. Oh yeah, Fate uh whatever. UBW, yeah. U B B W actually. U B B W. Um freaking yeah, it's just season two. It's really cool. If you like Fire Force, you should watch it. Fire Force, if you haven't seen it yet, it's just really great. Really fun, cool. I heard the manga is going crazy right now also. So that is cool. Um, That being – is that Weekly Shonen Jump? or Oh, no, it's Shonen Magazine Weekly, so it's not Weekly Shonen Jump. Oh, you know why I dropped this? Because one of the characters had shark teeth. Yeah, that's, that's Shinra. That's the main guy. The main guy? God, even worse. He has a nervous. He has a nervous tick, and that's his tick. He smiles. His tick is that he has shark teeth. I can't do pro- it, dude. You know what, Nick? You know what your problem is. <laughs> You're being a butt sniffer right now. You you like characters with with fucking Peyton Manning foreheads, but yeah. not cool badass characters with cool smiles. Yeah, the forehead can it it will shatter the, his teeth. The seventeen. Dries. The seventeen head, more like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the one thing the one thing that I can say about Fire Force is that Tamaki is fucking annoying. I hate her. Yeah, she's a dumb character. I think I think she yeah she her character annoying. is just stupid. She's the like the third gen when she's got like the she has like she the has fire like cat, cat ears. A feline yeah, like a feline ability and like when she's not fighting, her top fucking falls off <laughs> magically. It's so stupid. Yeah, the 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 fan service stuff in this show is dumb as hell. Super dumb. That's what makes anime good, though. Whoops, titties. <laughs> like it's like yeah, a, it's like the bad. You can't get away with that the, in real life. It's not the same. Where like, the plumbers come to the door and they're like, "Hey, ma'am, I heard you need me to lay some pipe." <laughs> it's like it's like that. It's like that's how bad it is. <laughs> Or the pizza delivery guy is like, I heard you ordered a large pepperoni or a large sausage. We only pepper. had sausage. There was that. There was that one. There was that one. One uh, scene in season one when they get separated in that tunnel, and and Sister Iris meets up with Tamaki, and then a clone comes in, and Sister Iris couldn't tell which one was who until Tamaki's fucking top came off and Iris is all like, I knew you were the real <laughs> Yeah, one. that's right. Yeah. The one with the boobs. <laughs> the one with the jahoobs. Yeah. Anyway, Fire Force is oh, really cool. So stupid. I'm gonna c- I, uh, yeah. Can- it's cool except for Tamaki. <laughs> except for Tamaki. Um, so the one that our husbando is from, the Misfit of Mao Gaku. You gotta say it in the in the, in the Japanese way, Sam. Mao Gakuin no Futagusha Shiju Saikyo Mao no Shisa Tenzi Shida Shisa Tachi Gaku. Like a good, like a delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Misfit of D. So basically, this guy is like Robin Williams from Aladdin. Bullshit. Because he's been trapped in the genie lamp and he comes out and then he's like, Bitch, <laughs> I'm gonna throw a castle. I can... That's the what he dumb does. harem show is all it is. It's not really a harem. He only has uh, two girls. Well, one and a half girls. <laughs> one of them's more of a doll. Stupid. But yeah, it's a super overpowered demon lord guy, and turns out he's like the original demon lord <laughs> so he's just he's like oh you think you're powerful i fucking invented that shit <laughs> just, and nobody believes everybody. him or anything like that until he proves it he's and like, they're just the first guy he so fights flabbergasted the first guy he fights he just kills him over oh, and yeah, over again he, he's just like snapping yeah. his fingers like fucking roy mustang he's like waking he's like dead alive dead alive dead alive <laughs> <laughs> They all like summon these. I'm definitely buildings. not going to finish this show. I probably will because it's fucking crazy. Anus. He throws a castle. Also, he <laughs> there's one part where they're like, I think they're doing a test to try to retrieve some magic items or something for their because they're also in school. It's like a high school bullshit thing, and he's he's just like, oh, follow me this way. He just walks through a wall, just shatters, just crumbles the wall <laughs> with his fucking face. <laughs> Anus. That's how you know he's overpowered, dude. He Anus walks. Voldegode he walks through the things that uh, that are <clears throat> are on the background cell, or that are not. Uh, what do you call that? You know how they have like the background cells and the ones that are animated. He walks through one of those. Anyway, <laughs> that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. This Studio Silverlink is kind of a lame show. I'm not into overpowered hot guy with a bunch of hot girls. Okay. Cool. Studio Silverlink. This is exactly a Silverlink style show. It's just if fucking just, it's five out of ten. If I wanted to around. watch Started Online, I'll just watch Started Online. But that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> Has Silverlink ever made an above average show? Let's find out. They have, uh, I think. Well, they got Co- Kokoro Connect. Kokoro Connect. She Kikishino you know, Cavalry. Bak at a test. Strike the blood. <laughs> fucking Silverlink, dude. What oh, about Tanaka Kun. Right. Masamuni no Revenge. No. Tanaka Kun is always listless. Ah, death March to another Rhapsody. <laughs> oh, Nanam Biori. That's pretty good. Tanaka Kun's a pretty good. Bofufer. They did Bofufer. That was average as well. Um, Fate Kali Prime Villainous. They did Villainous. Oh, Villainous. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. 
You got like Dumb three show. shows out of like fifty. All right, uh, pretty good. Like, <laughs> like three shows out of fifty. <laughs> <laughs> they also did Chaos Dragon. <laughs> Chaos Dragon. I gotta watch that. Um. Anyway, that's an okay show. So it's whatever. So uh, like is like the anti Studio Bones. Rent a Girlfriend by TMS Entertainment. Oh, they did. Eight hundred. Um, sorry, 000, side notes. They did the. They, they did the uh, <laughs> Kiri Kuma, the the bear, the bear girl. Oh, Yuri. Wait, Yuri Kuma, Kuma Rashi. Miko? Yeah. Yuri Kuma Rashi. Oh yeah, Sam would love that actually. That know, would literally be it. on your decade list, Sam. I'm not joking. Yeah, I was trying to. I don't have time. Anyway, moving on, please. <laughs> uh, rent nice a girlfriend. Rent a girlfriend. Dude, this Sam, show did you hear my, my song? No. Rent a girlfriend. I, try, I tried to sing the Rent song, but I forgot. They hate that musical so much. <laughs> rent a girlfriend. Oh my god! How so heartless? I forgot how many how many minutes were. <laughs> That's how many minutes are in a year. <laughs> All right, rent a girlfriend. You got this player, this player, this dude. No, he's not. Who is like a baller. He, yeah, he's this far from a player. This guy is a fuck boy. He gets all the ladies. He 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 gets dumped by this one dumb girl. She's stupid. He doesn't get all the ladies. That was his only catch. girlfriend that he's ever had. <laughs> and he's got her, right? But then he loses her. And then he rents this girlfriend because he's desperate. And it turns out they, they basically live the exact same life. <laughs> She's like, oh, I live next door. Oh, I go to the same college. Oh, I do the same thing as you. Oh, I have the same friends. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that shit? My grandma is in the same yeah, hospital we have the ba- as your we grandma. We have the same grandma, basically. <laughs> <laughs> basically, all this, like, threes company shit starts happening. and It's great, dude. And, and then his ex-girlfriend awesome. is, like, this conniving little bee. Dude, she's a she's bee just, like, dude. She's, like... She's like, I got to get him back. And she like plots and stuff. And she's all smiley. And then this other guy tries to hit on her. And she just glares at him. And she's like, fuck off, bitch. Trying to get my old boo. (laughs) I fucking. (laughs) (laughs) I normally hate these kind of romantic comedies. I mean, with like, oh, romantic comedy with a catch. (laughs) With a twist. (laughs) And like, I think it's super annoying. I think it's dumb. But like, this is actually done pretty well it, it they do a really good job of making you of showing you how pathetic the main dude is he's super just a loser he, he's a loser he cry <laughs> masturbates <laughs> christerbates dude you've never he done cries, that he christerbates no <laughs> i've done never that? done that wow, i've always been out. in a great mood before jerking the gherkin I can't be in a sad mood. When like, I how off. do you? I'm yeah, sorry. that's fucking like depressing. Fucking casu- casuals <laughs> over here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking neck, dude. <laughs> suck it up and keep it up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dumb. No, dude. But here's another thing too. Okay, it also just looks really good. I love Dude, the grandma. His grandma is the best. Yeah, she's yeah, like, she's, where's, where's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> she's like, where's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> she's like, there's this about gotcha games or whatever. There's, she's this, playing. there's this new gotcha game. You got to try it. It's great. It's like one of those. <laughs> it's one of those tap like gotcha games. You just tap the thing, you know, <laughs> and she's like she's the girl. Facebook. She <laughs> yeah, she she loves uh, Chizuru. Yeah, she loves yeah, cause her. Chizuru is basically the perfect person. Yeah, Unlike she's what's his face. She's fucking cute, man. And and like the, the, I love. Uh, is this based on anything? Oh, it's based on a manga. It's based on a f- fucking anime thing. You know, it's based saying? on a mango. <laughs> it's based on a mango. All right. Um, <clears throat> it's one of those things. Me. It's like, why would he ever pick that other girl over Chizuru? Like Chizuru is clearly hotter, and because she's nicer. It, because he's not picking her because she that's just her job. It's a rent a girlfriend, you rent her. They're not actually dating. She, yeah, well yeah, I mean she, honestly that's she made it that clear like a, throughout the whole entire that's thing. It's like better though. About, Wouldn't you rather have job. a rented girlfriend? Wouldn't that just be better? <laughs> Nick, I'm feeling really depressed for you right now. You're relating to the main <laughs> yeah, character same. too much. It's very transactional. <laughs> There's no drama, you know. <laughs> we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really should. I I agree. Some we'll talk about this show 
on our own time. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like not even joking. That would be great. <laughs> um, you yeah, just, I don't like, even dude, know if we have services. There, you're never, you're never even like, you know, thinking about. Oh, are they thinking about me? Because the answer is always no. You know, it's great. They don't care anyway. about you. It's, it just anyway. makes it simple. It keeps it simple. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, have you guys Decca. gone to the mail page? On the mail page, there's a flea market saleswoman and is one of the characters. What the fuck is this shit? Flea market I post, saleswoman. I posted it in our seasonal Discord. She's from the flea market. She's the saleswoman. She's in like one market. scene. What is? It? Why is she on the sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mel. Like Maybe they don't we'll have main characters. Yeah. Um, it's black Decca. and white, and she's looking at somebody's junk. Anyway, look at, look moving at the on. Picture they picked. Oh my god. Uh, what is that? Anyway, what is that? Decadence Studio Nut, which is what I did after <laughs> watching this show. Nut. Uh, this show is really cool. I really like this show. This show was really cool until. And Wait, know. what show are we talking about now? Uh, Decadence. Oh, Decadence. That's right. I wasn't listening. Decadence. Many years have passed since no, humanity son, you was say it right. Decadence. Many years have passed since humanity was driven <laughs> to the brink of extinction by the sudden emergence of the unknown life forms known as Gadal. Those humans that survived now dwell in a 3,000 meter high mobile fortress, Decadence, built to protect themselves from the Gadal threat. So there you go. It's a samurai flamenco clone. It's basically, they fucking, they twist you, dude. They twist you. In the, after that first episode, it's like school live. <laughs> You're like, they, something they, oh, happened, shit. and it kind of threw yeah, me. Yeah, I off. actually don't. I, I, like, mm. I don't even know if I want to say it. Like, we shouldn't say it. We shouldn't say it. Seven point like, oh five on Mel. That means it's uh, very controversial. <laughs> you either love it or you hate it. You re- you either live long enough to see yourself become the Batman, or I don't know. Anyway, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. Nick, anyway. you got like half of your butthole in here and half of it out. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't decide. <laughs> I just can't decide. Dude, this show looks great, by the way. The animation is amazing. Really good. Studio Nut just like nutted all over the canvas here. <laughs> they only done like nutted. four shows. You oh, Joe God, Sankey. they did Fully Cooly Alternative. Gross. <laughs> Wait, was that the alternative bad one? Alternative was the, the good one. No, alternative was the good one. Wait, out was of the two. Oh, this was the one I gave a five. Okay, the other one I gave like a three or a two. <laughs> yeah, all they've done is Tanya, Tanya movie, and Little Hitler. That's Tanya. And FLC alternative and decadence. That's literally all. I, that's here right now. See, this is how a studio should be. Just do like four things. You know, don't do David production making sells at work shit. Nobody likes that. Nobody cares about it. We only care about JoJo. Nobody anyway, cares back to Jordan. decadence. I care about cells at work. Anyway, I don't want to say I don't want to say the thing. It I don't think we should say the thing. It basically turns into this crazy shit. Yeah, it gets and it's, it's like, like it's like Inception. There's like layers of like oh, blah blah blah. Can we just spoil? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, don't. So the don't. first episode, there's no spoiler. There's there's these uh. There's humans, right? Yeah, humans are fighting these monsters called Gadol. I already said all this. Yeah, anyway, they're big blobular things, and they have, like, 3D maneuver bl- balls that, like, shoot them in the air. Like They suck like the blood. They, they harvest the blood from the Gadol because it fuels the moving fortress. See, that's world building right there. And then they can and eat they the meat. they clean off the sludge from their ship, and they eat and then them. The whole they can buffalo. eat the meat. Yeah, it's like this, the old saying, you got to eat every part of the Gadol. And then there's 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 actually like a you know there's a little town, uh in in it and there's a, you know there's agriculture there's gardens there's cows even you know livestock, anyway, that's how they have to live right cows, now because you know world, livestock. <laughs> there's world the world is inhabited by Gadol. They have to live. They all humanity lives in that fucking fortress. Oh man! But then episode two and three happen and it's like, <laughs> it's basically. That, can I spoil it? <laughs> no, 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 shut up. We're going to move on. Here's what I'm going to say, though. The character designs in episode two and three are adorable. And the minute that, uh, what's his face, Kabaragi drums his little fingers on the button is when I knew the show was great. All right? Okay. Just that Sakuga, the finger animation. He's just, he's like a little cat or something. Let's move uh, on now. It's pretty crazy. You know, just give it a try. If you like samurai flamenco type shit, 
like twists and, and turns, then uh, there you go. Anyway, you should watch it. You can watch it on Hulu, by the way. It's on Hulu. Um, Uzagi Chan wants to hang out, dude. From our, I totally missed this one. I forgot to watch this. Eh, it's, you it's, yeah, you didn't really miss it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cute. I like it better than Takagi San because Takagi San's stupid. This is really no good. Takagi San's great because her voice actress is is has good voice and she's not like me the whole time like Uzagi. U- Uzaki just like. She's like a fucking shitty little dog, all right. And she looks. This is basically. She looks like a lollipop. Basically, with boobs. It's basically Takagi-san, but better. No, get, get mad. It's worse because <laughs> this girl doesn't bully. She tricks the main. She well, she does bully actually, but like in city, she like basically just wa- she just like throws a tantrum until the guy relents. Which is, I guess, how you do get a, a boyfriend or girlfriend. So she's kind of doing it the right way. You just gotta wear him down. You know, you just gotta wear him down. <laughs> <laughs> I said that like really depressed. I'm like, you just gotta wear him down. <laughs> She's still ten times cuter than fucking Peyton Manning five fifteen <laughs> head. Peyton Manning. You know, yeah, Takagi fifteen boob head. Manning. Her boobs are bigger than her face. Oh but no, yeah. that's such a that's such a terrible problem. Damn, her boobs are huge. <laughs> That's you, by the way. <laughs> Look, that's, Gross. that's how you sound. That's Disgusting. how you sound. That's right. You 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 want to rent a girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I said that. I already said that, Danny. You I already said it. it. It's not an insult if I already said it. <laughs> if it was cheap enough, I would do it. <laughs> also, it would probably be bad if it was cheap enough. <laughs> anyway, you get, like, you get like a fifty-year-old lady with a stoma. <laughs> you want to go to a movie? It's a breath of fresh air in my stoma. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, she she's just a, you know she's a college student. She wants to hang out with Sakurai Shinichi all the time, and she you know pokes fun at him. Exasperated guy with a perky ditzy girl. That's the show. Yeah, it's kind of cute. It's whatever. They they work at a diner, or the guy does, and then the. The owner of the diner and his daughter are like perving out on the couple the whole time. Pretty much. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the every show we've talked about, Nick, you found like the weirdest fucking thing in the show to be like, Yeah, that part's good. <laughs> 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 when Asa's bleeding from her forehead in episode two, that's awesome. Oh. Like <laughs> That was pretty good actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That one second where you see the little robot in episode two of SAO, it's really funny. Uh, anyway, it's not, you know, slice of life. It's kind of cute. Um, what else are we watching? That was it, dude. There's fucking nothing else, right? Um, there's, like, Danny. literally nothing else. The season has, like, 20 shows, and yeah, like there's, half of them there's, are shitty. There's no Guns Life second season, which I'm not watching. I don't really care. Um... Monster Musume no Ohio. It's like a short. It's a short. Yeah, that's just like a, a doctor. Who, monster girl doctor. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a it doctor who who treats monster girls. And I thought that was gonna be really fun. And it turns it's kind of lame. I don't know. Um, there's the one with Peter Grill, which I like to say Peter Griffin. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was also Gibbyite that I thought was going to be really sick, and it turns out that it was lame as hell. It was super dumb. So yeah. Just look at the score. Uh, I, Gibiate. Like, I, Gibiate. I, I 4.78. Watched, <laughs> Holy shit. I watched, the two, I watched the two first episodes, and the first episode was pretty decent. I mean, I I didn't hate it, but then the second episode, I was like, okay, this is This is by Studio is Lunchbox. Lunchbox and Studio L. That should tell you everything. This is also another um, lunch box. Um, crunchy, <laughs> crunchy roll original. Hold on. Yeah. A second. Duration unknown. How is it unknown for the episode? It was a regular length episode, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. They got out of high school. That's all they need. Fuck it, dude. Got to break a few yeah, eggs to make I, an omelet. I was excited for that one. I don't know. Maybe we'll see what happens. But then there's also another. There's a low that I'm score. Watching. It's a four point seven six on Mel. <laughs> Yeah, then that's actually there, impressive. I kind of want to watch it now. There's an. I'm also gonna watch the second season of No Guns Life as soon as I finish the first. I'm first not. Part. I'm not watching. I don't know. I was into it at first, and oh, then no, 
Ninja Collection like has the lowest score, 3.64. Yeah, Holy that's shit. I need really to weird. This. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, the other one. It's based on, like, Yamashibai. 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 It's a four-minute short, so, yeah. All right. Anyway, the other one I'm watching that I uh, – this is another one I mentioned on the newscast, too. Uh, Kyojin Zoku no Hanayome, which is a short. It's called The Titan's Bride. Uh, anyway, this dude is, like, masturbating. And he gets nice. wait. You he had, gets you, nope. I'm already convinced. He gets he's, you had him at master. Well, Nick's probably not. Well, when I say this next part, Nick's probably gonna drop it. But um, he gets he gets Isekai to a world of titans of Amazon guys. So like everyone is bigger than normal, you know. Um, so he's like really tiny in comparison. And the Titan uh, Caius Lao Bestale, he's the Titan Lord, and he basically sees. Uh, Koichi, the guy who got Isekai, and he goes, well, you're going to be my bride. And so it's like some gay shit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's actually really cute. I don't know. It's really cute. And there's a wolf face Johnson in it, so 10 out of 10 automatically for me. There's a wolf face Johnson and a tiger face Johnson. Also, tiger we, face uh, Johnson. we didn't mention hulaing babies, staying babies. <laughs> That's the title. Stay- I remember the first time Nick mentioned that. And he was like, I thought it was like some Chinese thing, like hu, li, hu ling. <laughs> like, oh no, I was like hu la, howling baby. Howling, or something. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, pretty much that's it. And then you know, um, I'm gonna watch Agretzko season three. Obviously, yeah, we'll talk about Agretzko. that at the end. We'll that talk about that out. at the end in the review. What was your really quick though? What was your guys' favorite opening in OPs and ED so far? Probably mm. God of High School. Yeah, God of High School opening was really cool. Yeah, God of High School was pretty good. I don't remember the. I ones. actually did really like uh, the um, Rent a Girlfriend's um, opening. Rent a Girlfriend's opening is really cute. Mm-hmm. Decadence uh, opening. Let's click on it. I like the song in that one. Oh no, it's pretty average. It's 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 okay. The ED to God of High School is also really cool. So I would say. I like the opening to Fire Force also. I don't know. I would say God of High School for both right now. Just because they were. Fire Force. I like them all. They were different. Yeah. <laughs> they were different. So, yeah. Um, Anyway, that's Summer First Impressions right there, yo. So, there you go. Hey. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's our AOTS so far? Favorite of the. Favorite oh. Of the bunch? It's probably. Dude, it's probably going to be Decadence or. God of High School. Or God of High School for me. Some of the shows that are left over from, you know, being delayed. Um, I don't know if they would count this season or last season, I guess. Um, well, we can't say. I was, I was asking what's your favorite right now. You can include um, sequels, too. I mean, if you want to include a sequel, fuck it, dude. I'll say God of High School is my favorite right now. All right. Same. Uh, Yeah, probably. I'm going to go with that, but I think Decadence could could maybe win. We'll see. Decadence might pull up. Do Decadence? I know is going to get crazy. Sao and now. Rezero also have a good shot, but they just mm-hmm. started, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, they're like second season, so it's kind of weird to <laughs> compare that. So right, right. Um. Anyway, there you go. First impressions. Let us know what you guys are watching this season, and um, you know, tell us in the Discord. Links.anime7.net, everything's right there. Join the Discord. I'm in Discord all the time. I'm not really on Twitter or anything anymore, and my Facebook is really just for family and close friends. So, um, you know, just c- come at me on Discord. You know what I mean? And then just at me right away when you get on there. Um, and then hit me up. Also, join our Discord to join the Manga Book Club. Um, I should have said this earlier. I totally didn't realize it till now. But um, uh, August 2nd, uh, Meetup is for Monsters Volume 10 to 12, so if you want to catch up before then, you can. August 9th, Volume 1 through 3 of uh, Witch Hat Atelier or Atelier of the Witch Hat. Oh, yeah, really, that's going to be sick. Re- really good. It's so good. Are you actually going to read Dude, it? The art Nick? in that manga is fucking insane. It's so good. It's I, I, it's, it sucks because it's a monthly magazine, so like it, I'm letting it kind of go for a couple chapters before I. Um, Because I'm caught up with it for the most part. And then August 16th, Monster Volumes 13 to 15. August 23rd, All You Need is Kill, Volume 1 and 2. And then August 30th, Monster Volumes 16 and 18. So check it out. 
if you want to join the Discord or join the Manga Book Club, join the Discord, okay? And uh, that being said, I am Sam, Nick, and Danny, and we're the Anime Summit Podcast. Have a profitable day.